Okay, I'd like to call this uh, meeting to order at 545, uh, and it is our special recognition event. It's uh, a great pleasure for board members and for the administrators to be able to recognize students who have achieved in many different areas and also to honor some of our staff. It's uh, We have a lot of regular business meetings that are sometimes long and very involved, and so this is really a fun time for all of us. I'd like to ask for a roll call to establish quorum, please. Member Perry. Present. Member Melcheski. Here. President Vickers. Here. Member Osborne is not able to attend and Member Kelly will arrive shortly. Now, so I uh, was asked by Dr. Valori to remind everyone that the Anna Karen will be taking pictures of the honorees and then those will be posted on Instagram. And also the meeting is being live streamed it's a wrap and it's being a wrap. So you can see it there if you need to see it again or parents that uh, are not able to be here. Thank you. We'd ask for our student board rep, uh, Nick, to lead us in the pledge, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's a flag in the back right corner of the room. So if you could all please stand to face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart, ready. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to ask for a motion to adopt our agenda. So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor, board, student board vote? Yes. Board members, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carries 301 or 30, 311. <laughs> 302 for 302. Okay, thank you. And we uh, begin tonight with section three staff and partner recognitions. Um, first is A, LBUSD AXA Administrator of the Year, Dr. Keller. Uh, good, good evening, Board of Education. Thank you so much for having me tonight. It's my honor as the Laguna Beach Uni uh, Unified Chapter President of the Association of California School Administrators to celebrate one of our very own, Mr. Michael Morrison, as the 22-23 Administrator of the Year in the Technology Administrator category for all of Orange County. Come on up, Mr. Morrison. Mr. Mr. Morrison is an incredibly visionary leader who models and inspires excellence in others. His leadership has had a direct and enduring impact on the environments where our students learn and how teachers deliver the art and science of instruction to our students. Uh, please join me in congratulating our Administrator of the Year, Mr. Michael Morrison. Next, we have item B, PTA Athletic Boosters Acknowledgement and Appreciation. Okay, so we do go to D. D A E R Mentors. So we just wanted to thank these mentors who uh, we we have an amazing class at the high school where kids get to pick something they're passionate about for an entire year and study it. And these mentors have uh, are from the community and they have joined with these students to kind of be in that subject area and, and kind of guide them along. So they've volunteered their time. So we want to thank them. 
understand most of our mentors are busy lives and not all of them can be here tonight, but I do want to recognize them by name. Uh, these mentors range from aerospace engineers all the way to teenage mental health professionals. So we'd like to recognize Kim Bowen. Um, Trisha Church. Sydney Khalidi. Uh, Tim Crilly. Michaela Davis. Christina Fugit. Uh, Ryan Goldsmith. Greg Hardesty. David Hilton. Stacy Hunter Harrington. Mima Moya Yeti, Thomas Price, uh, Power Couple, Jen and Jeremy Sampson, uh, Heather Schwarm, and Vinvo. We'll be sure to get these awards to them in the coming days. Thank you so much. Okay, now we'll do B, PTA Athletic Boosters Acknowledgement and Appreciation. I'd like to ask uh, Jimmy, who just walked in, to come up. Come on, Jimmy. Jimmy is Adian. Uh, he is a parent extraordinaire. Uh, he is the uh, Boosters president, uh, the PTA president for the high school next year. And uh, this gentleman, um, I wish I could bottle up your energy just for a little bit. I don't know how you do it all, uh, but on behalf of the district, on behalf of the high school, uh, the students wanted to say thank you. Is she here? Is Danielle here? Okay. We now have Thurston Middle School Instructional Leader Award and Thurston Middle School Culture and Climate Award presented by Principal Vidal. Uh, thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, our staff has spoken uh, by popular vote. I would like to call up Mrs. Randy Beckley. Randy is a phenomenal teacher who creates a highly engaging and positive culture within her French class. She is a student favorite, and when she's not an exceptional French teacher, she can be seen doing just a few things, like starting and developing our English language arts intervention class for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students developing her own curriculum, student goal setting templates, and diving into a lot of our iReady assessment data to identify and track their progress, collaborating across departments regarding student growth or school-wide initiatives, serving as a department chair and, and, and leading her team, serving as an instructional TOSA that supports best first instruction across our entire campus and supports our schools in facilitating learning walks where teachers observe one another and learn instructional strategies. She's also our school site council chair, which facilitates discussions around our school plan for student achievement, supports our weekly communications, and in the evenings can be found leading parent education courses to better equip parents like me with tools to best support our Laguna kiddos. But most importantly, she does all of this leading with her heart. When we talk about the best, we're definitely talking about people like her. Randy, whatever brought you here and kept you at Thurston, we are very thankful. Thank you for being you and congratulations and being recognized as our TMS instructional leader. Absolutely. Congratulations.
Okay. It is no surprise that I will be calling this next individual up for Thurston's Culture and Climate Award. I would like to now call up our assistant principal, Ms. Daphne Hammer. I always thought I was a pretty kind and caring and optimistic person, but uh, standing next to her and since her arrival, I've realized what a curmudgeon I really am. Uh, she came into Thurston doing cartwheels and hasn't stopped spinning her optimistic webs all over our campus and into the hearts of all that she encounters. She's conditioned us all so that when you even look in her direction or talk about her behind her back, you tend to smile. She has dramatically enhanced our school-wide behavior programming by introducing student of the day celebrations and awards, student of the month breakfasts and lunches, filling our morning parking lot and our student squads with her energetic and middle school friendly playlists, showing our staff with uh, sh uh, sharing with our staff home cooked cookies that are twice the size of anybody's head for their birthday celebrations, offering daily and inspiring thoughts of the day over our morning announcements and can be seen like a mama duck skipping through our breaks and lunches with noisy middle school ducklings chuckling behind her. She has even created staff awards, which we all call the Wizzies, based on the Wizard of Oz, where staff members receive awards for heart, courage, and brains. And today we will be presenting her with a little Over the Rainbow Award, which just broke, <laughs> encompassing all of those traits. Thank you. Daphne, thank you for all that you do and for spreading the sunshine across our campus. We do appreciate you. We now have our PTA Council President and Community Partner Award. Danielle Rodersheimer, come on up. So for those who don't know Danielle, um, you should. Number one, uh, she was for two and a half years the Council President of the PTA, of all the uh, PTAs basically overseeing all of them in our district. Um, she is a tireless person who puts out a lot of energy in everything that she does. Um, she has uh, two students, one is graduating um, this year. And, um, you know, it's a lot of work to wrangle uh, all the different PTAs and keep them on track and all the different things that uh, that happen. Uh, but Danielle, you did an amazing job and helped lead uh, during a very challenging time. So I am forever grateful for that. Uh, I think we all are. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Now we'll move to what all of you are waiting for, although it's, it, I'm sure it's a pleasure for you also to see uh, that we have these great staff members and volunteers that make everything better for our students. This is a uh, time for the elementary recognitions and we'll begin with the district art show participants. Oh, two of our board members will help in handing out these awards. Member Perry and Member Milcheski. And students, your your principals will be um, calling your names. Good evening, everyone. We are really excited to be honoring all of our students for their work this evening. We're starting off with the District Art Show, which is a fantastic opportunity for our students to show off their artistic abilities. 
uh, beginning with top of the world. We have Clark Alden. Sorry. Christian Ballesteros. Lily Brown. Lily Brown. Sophia Brush. Azalea Burris. Wes Cohen. Gia Cunningham. Annabella Dodge. Kiara Dole. Aiden Dwight. Ace Interest. Sophia Fedensky. Sienna Cover. Annika Kednar. Penelope Leamy. Sophia Malari. Asher McCoolan. Asher McCoolan, did I know? Abby Olin. Mia Rankin. Shamsher Siddal. Raya Simtani. Arian Schutz. James Seminoff. And Hudson Wishponic. And before we give our morals, we'd like to give a huge shout out to our brand new art Tosa, Sarah Woolsey, who worked with both of our schools to help pull this on too. We love our Woolsey Weeks. So from El Moro, we have Callie Andrus. Olivia Barrow. Mm -hmm. Shaylee Chala. Tina Crow. Bella Crow. Catalina Fernandez Cuesta. Ivy Adahayu. Hayden Faber. Madison Gates, Holland Gracie, Harper Hand, Hudson Hilliard, Carolina Hoare, Penny Jamison, Taylor Jones, Daisy Lou, Paulette Lou, Greta McGilvery, Kennedy McMillan. Addison Moran, Cecilia O'Connell, Hale Richland, and Ruby Wong.
just hold that. Hold on. What's the map? The dragon. It's in Are they off? Yep. Okay. They're kind of like. And our next. Yeah. Are you going on with I'll the spelling bee? I'll let you guys bee? get seated. Okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. It's, I just was saying the the art show was amazing. So thanks to all those students. And the spelling bee is next. Thank you. All right. And for our spelling bee winners. We have achievement awards going to site winners Colette Liu, Rastin Arshadi, and then we also have our El Moro Top Spelling Bee winner again, Colette Liu, and our Spelling Bee runner-up Evie Rubin. We have finalist Hallie Black and finalist Chloe Werleman. Okay, from top of the world for our LBUSD spelling bee, it was a tie for runner up. So we have CJ No. For the LBUSD, the spelling bee finalist, we have Abby Olin and Bodhi Thien. And for the top of the world spelling bee, we have the winner, Michael Washington. And for the top of the world spelling bee runner up, Darcy Riley. And next we have the Southern California School Band and Orchestra Association's Elementary Honor Orchestra. And from Elmora, we'd like to congratulate Taylor Jones. Every year at Top of the World, we have a tradition of having our Jogathon t-shirt designed by a student. And this year's t-shirt was designed by fifth grader, Nicole Moat. And we'll get her her certificate tomorrow. And we have a recognition of the El Moro Student Council representatives. Okay, for El Moro Student Council, thank you guys for taking on our morning announcements every morning and everything you do on our campus. We have our president, Christine Kang. Come on up, Christine. 
All right, Vice President Evie Rubin. For our sports coordinator, Holt Donovan. Our secretary, Chloe Worleman. Our student council treasurer, Penny Jamison. Our publicity co coordinator, Lucia Lerim. And our student council environmental coordinator, Holly Black. We have Top of the World Student Council representatives. Thank you. Our student council, this is our fall and spring semester students. We have Kaylee Belden. Zia Bell, Sophia Brush, Tommy Burge, Jackson Burns, McKenna Good, Hayden Harper, Jameson Jones, Liam Marshall, Stella McKenzie, Brooks Miller, Zoe Moore, Tano Morris, Mia Moss, Nicole Moat, Frankie Perkins, Violet Petway, Aria Rotabi, Ford Runau, Michael Washington, and Jocelyn Zingali. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Next, we have a presentation of the reclassified fluent English proficient presented by Yadi Reynolds. Yes. Yeah. It's students. Yeah. Good evening, parents, students, and family. Um, it is my honor today to stand here to celebrate our multilingual learners. These students have worked hard to show their proficiency in English and have met all the state criteria to be reclassified as fluent English proficient. The language represented tonight are Portuguese, Arabic, Nepali, Spanish, Vietnamese, French, Romanian, Chinese, and two, uh, three of our students that have left us this year, Russian and Farsi. So it is my honor to call these students up and we can celebrate their accomplishments. L. Oliphant. Sophie Jamin. Claire Stender. Hong Kwan Pham, also known as Jason. Abiraj Fasineku, 
She's here. She's here. Leila Kekar. Eric Torres Salgado. Gael Campos. Ted Un. Hassan Khalil. And Sean Wen. Thank you. That concludes the first part of our presentations tonight, and we will now have a short break intermission and you're welcome to all go outside and enjoy the refreshments and have a chance to visit with other parents. Thank you. We'll resume in 10 minutes. Which I said over the. <laughs> Thank you. We uh, have a, some of our mentors for the AER program, and so we want to recognize them. Uh, Mr. Shin. And we're just not going to do it later. Okay. So, but we'll just bring him up and take this. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello again. Uh, my name is John Shen. I'm the uh, teacher and the coordinator of our Authentic Exploratory Research Program. So uh, a couple of our mentors whom we recognized earlier uh, were able to come in person. So we really like to congratulate them for their accomplishments and, um, and thank them for volunteer their valuable time to work with our students and definitely experience that's not your average classroom experience. So first, I'd like to recognize one of our own, our LBSD, LBHS athletic trainer, Tim Crilly. And then also Mr. Bill Edwards, he's the CEO of an international uh, um, franchising corporation, and he mentored two students this year who did amazing projects in international relations. So Bill. We'll begin our secondary recognitions with uh, TMS Holocaust Writing Contest Top Five National Finalists. And Principal Vidal will present this. All right, thank you. I would like to call up Taylor N at this time. She's in there, there she is. So like all eighth graders and ELA students, they participated in Chapman University's Holocaust Writing Contest. This year's prompt was the strength of love and the will to survive, and to be considered, students first watched a full testimony of a Holocaust survivor. Then in either poetry or prose, students reflect on what they heard and connected to the prompt. Over 250 middle school, middle school and high schools across the county participated in the contest. And Taylor's essay titled, Eyes That Tell, not only was chosen as one of Thurston's top three writers, 
but earned a place in the top five entries of all middle school students in the pros category. Congratulations. Next, we have Thurston Middle School Moot Court. All right, at this time, I'd like to call up Ariana Gain, Izzy Tran, Juliana and Coco Politoski, Angelina Liesel, Alexander Tacheco, Alexis Ross Hewitt, and Oliver Rankin. I think you gave it away. <laughs> uh, Thurston's Moot Court Club students had an opportunity to participate in the Orange County Constitutional Rights Foundation uh, countywide moot court competition. The competition was held over two weeks at the Federal Courthouse building in Santa Ana, and students were given a set of facts that raised a legal issue. These students had spent a few months studying in a closed session in the library over cases and developing an argument as to why the court should resolve the issue in their favor. Thurston students competed against other schools in Orange County area by presenting their oral argument in front of a judge, answering questions from the judge, and presenting a rebuttal. Our team won first place in the countywide Orange County competition. Ariana Gain and Izzy Tran was first place for best defense team. Juliana Coco Politoski won first place for best prosecu prosecution team. And Angeline Elizel won Thurston MVP for the highest individual score. It was great teamwork by all the team members Alexander Tacheco, Alexis Ross Hewitt, and Oliver Rankin. Congratulations, team. We have LBHS Athletics, and Dr. Selby will be presenting these. Okay, thank you. I'm honored to to call up nine athletes, and I haven't seen them all, so hopefully they're here. Shay Blanchard, Jana Josick, Jeremy Cantor. Hold your applause. There's going to be a lot to applaud. Uh, Sophie Mariner, Charlotte Richards, Riches, Mia Romerswinkle, Kenna Rudolph, Lauren Schneider, and Chase Ship. Come on up and line up right here. So line up right there. Okay, Shay is not here, but Shay was uh, honored as Pitcher of the Year for the Sunset League. That's a really big deal. He was the only four-year varsity player from this year's senior class. Shay was also voted on by Orange County coaches to play in the Orange County All-Star Game, which is this Tuesday. So we're very excited for him to represent Laguna Beach High School. And uh, Shay will be attending the Ho Hawaii Pacific University on a baseball scholarship. So Shay, wherever you are, good job. <laughs> He's probably in the bullpen right now, throwing a little bit. Okay, Jana Josick um, in swim for her four years at Laguna Beach High School. She's broke three records, so she holds the record for Laguna Beach in the 100 breaststroke, the 200 medley relay, and the 400 free relay. She also competed in CIF for four years and competed in the state championships. And Jana is going to attend UC San Diego in the fall, where she will continue her swim career and major in human biology. So, good job, Jana. Jeremy Cantor um, is being honored as the first wrestler in the history of Laguna Beach High School to advance to the finals of league and CIF 
And he was also the first to qualify for the Masters, which he did twice. And that's a really big deal. Um, Jeremy established himself as a leader on the team. Next year, Jeremy will be attending the University of Colorado, where he will major in aerospace engineering and play rugby. So Jeremy Cantor. I was going to go with her. Uh, another athlete that was not able to attend tonight, Mia, Mia Romerswinkel. She's a senior. Mia placed first in the 50 freestyle at the first ever CIF Southern Section Swimming Unified Heat. And if you know Mia, you know she's an inspiration to everyone around her. Um, she works hard. She does everything with a smile on her face. And Mia will be attending Saddleback College in the fall. Okay, now our athletes that we have here, Sophie Mariner. Sophie, wait, wave so they know who you are. Sophie was named all CIF first team in basketball this year. She's the epitome of a student athlete. Not only is she a solid student, but she is a tough-minded competitor. If you've seen her on the court, you know this. She is a three-time first team all CIF member. And for those of you that don't know high school athletics, that's unheard of to be named first team CIF for three years in a row. She was also the team MVP for three years and first team all league for three years. Sophie holds the Laguna Beach High School girls basketball rebounding record and is ranked 13th in the CIF Southern section for career rebounds. All this rebounding stuff tells us she's very physical and not afraid to mix it up a little bit. Um, to say that Sophie's left her mark on girls basketball at Laguna Beach High School, but it would be a gross understatement. Sophie Mariner. Charlotte Richards, Charlotte, raise your hand. Yeah, uh, Charlotte was also all CIF first team for water polo. She's not only one of the best centers in the country, but she is also mature beyond her years. Those are her coach's words, but I, I definitely agree. Um, this quality helped her be an incredible team captain this year. Charlotte's the first person to check in on her teammates and to go the extra mile for the team. She has a big heart. Her heart and resiliency will take her far in life. In fact, they already have. Charlotte will be attending Princeton University in the fall, where she will continue her water polo career. Charlotte Richards. Uh, next is Kenna Rudolph. Kenna was also named all CIF first team in basketball. And Kenna is the Cal Ripken of the Laguna Beach High School girls basketball program. That's an old reference. Kenna, look up Cal Ripken if you don't know what that means, okay? Um, it's for the older people in here. Kenna set the record for the most games played in a career at 120 games over her four years. She never missed a basketball game. Um, this is an extremely unusual accomplishment when you think about all the reasons an athlete may have to sit out. In addition, Kenna was, value, was varsity starter for four years and was named the defensive player of the year two times and was also recognized as a scholar athlete. Kenna will attend the University of Minnesota this fall to study sports management, and she hopes to forge a career in Major League Baseball. Uh, Lauren Schneider also is not here. I want to recognize her. She was a first team all CIF water polo player, and she quite simply is an athlete. She's hardworking and fierce. She oozes confidence for those of you that know her. Very confident young lady, and she's just an incredibly authentic person. She has a competitive edge and drive to win like nobody else. This fearlessness led her to be a four year varsity starter and her um, drive and work ethic has earned her a scholarship to continue her water polo career at USC in the fall. So congratulations to Lauren. And our, our only non-senior athlete to be recognized this evening is Chase Ship. Chase, Chase is being recognized for holding the Laguna Beach High School dive record. He's a two-time Sunset League dive champion, and he's only a sophomore, as I said. Last year, as a freshman, he broke the Laguna Beach High School dive record. He decided this year, let's do it again. So he broke his own record once again. I anticipate this might be a pattern over the next two years. Um, not only is Chase an elite diver, he earned um, a pretty good GPA this last semester, somewhere around 4.6. Don't even know how that is possible, but okay. We are excited to see what Chase has in store for the next two years. Chase Ship.
And thank you to Dr. Shelby for sharing so much information about these student athletes with us. Uh, next, we have LBUSD communications intern, and um, Karen will be presenting that. Good evening. I have the privilege of serving as um, the district's director of communications and engagement. I joined in November and was very happily surprised to learn that I had a uh, student intern waiting for me who uh, an extra set of hands at the height of the academic year is not something that I would turn away. And I was really um, happy to meet Abigail, who jumped right in and has been hugely supportive in telling the stories of our school district and our students. So I want to recognize her today for her contributions this school year. Next, we have the Angels Scholarship recipient presented by high school principal, Dr. Allman. Good evening and thank you. Um, on behalf of Laguna Beach High School, I'm really honored and proud to not only have been part of this young man's education, but to see him grow from a squirrely little freshman to a, a pretty remarkable senior student. Um, and he's being honored with a four-year renewable scholarship from the Angels Baseball Scholarship Foundation. And I'm very proud of this guy. He was, we attempted to honor him in the first semester, but I think he was off building up his GPA and doing college applications at that time and playing basketball. Um, but I'd like to welcome and honor Chris Hemsley. Next, we have Career Technical Education Completers, presented by Dr. Allman and Kelly Shear. First of all, I'm really excited to present our CTE Pathway Completers because it's a reflection of a lot of kind of unconventional ways to access really valuable education and learning experiences by participating in classes that actually relate to skill building, work experience, and uh, the professional realm. So it makes that school to work kind of connection happen. And I really am uh, grateful for Ms. Kelly Shear and her coordination with all those efforts too. And uh, we're gonna honor um, students by CTE Pathway Group this evening to kind of keep it flowing and organized. So I'll defer to Ms. Shear right now. Hi, good evening. Um, we're really fortunate in this district. We have eight different CTE pathways on our Laguna Beach High School campus that provide a wealth of opportunities for your students to engage in uh, work-based learning, academic, college prep courses, and so they really get a taste of what that career field is going to look like. In addition to the ones on our high school campus, we also, with our partnership with our ROP CCA, we have an additional 15 other CTE pathways that our students can engage in. So really across all um, walks, really, of our different career industry fields that students can get involved in and really get a taste of what that career field might look like and feel like and work like before they actually go on to college or into the workforce. So it's a great opportunity for our students. We're excited. We have 42 
uh, completers this year. So students that have completed a two-year pathway, so there's a concentrator course and a capstone course, they have to complete those courses with C's or better. And a lot of them also have opportunities to earn industry certification, early college credits, honors waiting, AP classes, so lots of other um, benefits and attributes to the CT pathways. But this is a demonstrated interest that our students have shown in this field to commit to two long years of coursework in these fields. So we're gonna start with our CTE animal science. Kai Wen, are you here? This pathway is great if you're interested in veterinary medicine at all. So our next pathway, CT dance and choreography. Tomoko Davis, are you here? And Kate Sterlagova. Sorry, Kate, I'm sure I said that wrong. <laughs> okay, and then uh, CT engineering design. This is a brand new pathway for, oh, sorry. I, I didn't know where to do, yeah. Oh. Okay, so sorry, back to engineering design. This is a brand new pathway for us this year, and we're really excited to be able to expand our offerings for our students. Uh, so first, uh, Sai Machu Rao. Sorry, I'm sure I said that wrong. Sai, I apologize. You better at this. Um, and then Luke Meisberger, are you here? All right. Okay, and then our next is graphic design. Brandon Yee, are you here? Nope. All right, um, our next one um, is our CT patient care pathway, and we had quite a few um, completers in that. So um, Ariana Kulolos, I'm so sorry. Kulolius, thank you, Dr. Allman. <laughs> nope, all right, well, wherever she is. Um, Elizabeth Golden. Kira Hunhausen. Sierra Lamont Sick. 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 Tiba Rua. Ruiz. Mason Silva. And Sophia Tosti. And then next is our professional theater pathway, Catherine Jordan. Just as a little side note with our uh, theater pathway, if you see the daily pilot today, there was an amazing article in there about a collaboration that we did last night at um, the high school between our EMT pathway and our um, professional theater pathway. So I encourage you to take a look at that article. Okay, next, system programming. We we'll also have quite a few students in here. So Massimo Ariano. Lucas Bianchi. Dane Bowers.
Anua Carey. Daniel Compton. Ethan Doss. Theo Drews. Jet Hamill. Kevin Wu, who, 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 uh, sorry. Luella Hunt. Justin Kellum. Ryan Coe. Tyler Keskin. Laura Mandela. Nicholas Moore. Tyler Polino. Lucen Reed. Emily Regal. Aja Rose. Miller Rosenthal. Lucas Silverman. Hayden Sprinkle. Maya Trengrove. Kate Trevino. And Charles Roop. Sorry about. Sorry, thank you. Oh, I did. And then our last pathway tonight is our visual and commercial arts pathway. Natasha Denny. Sophia Densing. And Chloe Dunn. Our next recognition our Superintendent Student Advisory Council, Dr. Valoria. And Ms. Weber. And Ms. Weber. <laughs> so I'd like to ask Luxie Bynum, Rosabella Murphy, Natalie Sutton, Ashton Azadian, Zoe Cutter, Chris Hemsley, Mallory Keller, and Nick Playa to come stand up here, please. So these students gave up their lunchtime uh, to come and provide us feedback on a variety of topics. Um, several of them actually have been uh, with on the superintendent's advisory since we first started. So um, Chris was one of them, and I remember Chris. Uh, being a little head on a Zoom call way back in the day, um, uh, but, uh, and, and look at them now, winning scholarships and graduates. So I'm just uh, so appreciative of the time that our students take uh, to provide us feedback, whether it's a question around how best to communicate with you uh, or around diversity, equity, inclusion that we can be working on. Um, and 
or sustainability, which is one of the more recent topics we talked about. So um, if you ever wonder if teenagers are willing to talk, they are, you just have to ask. So um, I'm appreciative of all the time that you took, all of you. And I know that I still have a couple more years with a, a handful of folks here, um, but we just wanted to honor them. And one, recognize parents, you're doing a great job. These are fantastic kids. So thank you. We have superintendents of that, sorry, student participants in the LCAP process. Dr. Flores, Dr. Mayberry is presenting these. Hi, good evening. Uh, I get the honor of recognizing students that have helped develop our annual district uh, plan. So that, that involves being in focus groups, panelists, uh, working with our different stakeholders, providing really invaluable insights uh, and feedback on what's working well for them. Uh, and uh, what we can do better. And so I uh, want to recognize and thank those students for taking a lot of time out of their schedules, uh, like I said, out of their lunches sometimes to help us out and really develop this strategic plan that we do each year. Uh, and we're really, really thankful for their support. So I will call them up now. Um, Colette Black, Cameron Crawford, Andrew Kelleher, Kate Lanzen, Peyton Taylor, Henry Rugnaki, Raina Shah-Rastani, Ava Williams-Goldberg, Ashton Azadian, <laughs> Luxie Bynum, Mallory Keller, Nick Playa, Charlotte Riches, Dempsey Sadler, and Natalie Sutton. Final presentation for this evening is to uh, recognize and honor and give appreciation to our student board members for the year 2022 and 2023. Dr. Valoria and Ms. Weber. All right. Nick and Zoe, why don't you come stand up in front? This is your last last time here. I don't know if they knew what they signed themselves up for when they decided to be a student board rep. Uh, it's a very rigorous process actually to be selected. And these two did a fantastic job in their interviews over a year ago now. I'm sure it feels like a long time ago. Uh, they attend board meetings regularly. Um, I have to actually tell them to leave when it gets late because they're willing to stay in the whole time. I think the last time I had to shoehorn Nick out the door because he was wanted to stick in and it was past 930. Um, these are just amazing young adults. Um, you, you learn so much from them just listening to their experiences in, in school. Um, and again, back to uh, just proud parents. These are just fantastic. Um, I ideals of what you want your student to be. They're well-spoken, um, they are thoughtful, um, just just gracious young people. And so um, when people ask, you know, what, what the world's gonna look like in the future, we're in good hands because we have um, great students like Zoe and Nick. So Zoe, one of the aspects Zoe found most enjoyable as a student board member was the opportunity to establish strong connections with students, teachers, administrators, and the entire Laguna Beach community. Serving as a student board member has been an amazing experience, teaching her the art of collaboration with diverse individuals and fostering meaningful connections with others. 
She will use these learned skills as she attends UC Berkeley in the fall. Congratulations, Zoe. Nick, he joined us from another district. We won't use the whole that against you. Um, but uh, he has been passionate about Laguna Beach since he's been here. Uh, he served as a student board member, has been an amazing opportunity for Nick to grow closer to students and staff and leave a, leave a legacy behind for future students. His duties as a board member have taught him to be proactive and outgoing, qualities which he plans on using in the future. Nick will be attending Drexel University in the fall, where he will be majoring in computer science. Congratulations, Nick. Dr. Valori, may I just add that I appreciate the enthusiasm and the willingness to learn how school board and operates and how it functions. And they've they're always been eager to be here and have been great participants in, and given us an insight to the students that we would not gain without that. Thank you. Our student board members are going to introduce our next student board members that will be serving for the 2023-24 school year. Okay, so I wanted to say thank you so much for everyone and this entire community. I love serving on this board this year and I just really appreciate the community as a whole. And so as we close out this year, we want to welcome the new two student board members from the high school for the 23 and 24 year, Chase and Connor. Our next regularly scheduled meeting of the board will be Thursday, June 15th, 2023. And we also have a special meeting next week, a joint meeting with the City Council of Laguna Beach on Tuesday, June 7th at 5 p.m. in the City Council Chambers. Six? Six. Okay. <laughs> and with that, I'd like a motion to adjourn. Salute. Oh, be thank you. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> Do we have a second? Thank you. All in favor of student vote? Board members, aye. Opposed? Carries 401. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>